Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So I got tagged to do the what's in your nail desk video um, by my dear friend Cheyenne at Liquid Chrome Nails. I will link her video in the description box below. Um, so this may or may not be embarrassing. I think a lot of us have like messy, everybody has like a junk drawer. And so my top drawer, I don't have a drawer in my nail table. I have a glass topped um, desk that I use as a nail table. So it actually has shelves on the side. Um, and then I have this sort of thing of drawers here on, on the side. So I guess that would be my, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the camera now. I guess that would be considered my nail drawer is this um, stack of drawers here on the side. So I'll just tell you guys what's in that. If you would like to see a full um, salon tour, let me know in the comments below because I could show you like my shelves. I've got an armoire over there with all my other aesthetics items. I've got a retail shelf over here. I've got a whole big room, but this is Oh, never a dull moment at the beauty expert. Someone came to the door. I had to receive a package, <laughs> always receiving packages. So I'm going to go through what's in um, this stack of drawers. And if you'd like to see a full salon tour, let me know in the description box and I will um, do that for you guys if you're interested. So on top is sort of my working station. I think it wouldn't matter how big my desk was. It's actually really long. Um, but I would never have enough space to work off of. So on top of the stack of drawers, I have my implement kit with all my clean implements in there. I have this, which is actually like a half of a kneeling pad for gardening, and I use it to lean my elbows on because I, um, I have eczema on my elbows, and sometimes when I'm leaning on my elbows doing nails all day, um, it really irritates them. So. My mom bought it for me and thought she was being funny, but I, I actually use it all the time. I have my clear Brisa gel that I use on everybody, and then I have my pink Brisa gel that I use for doing French. I've got my container with my gel brushes in there that keeps them safe and out of the sunlight. I've got my two by two gauze wipes that I use for removing shellac and polish. And then I have my lint free wipes that I use for the gel nails. And I have my safety glasses that are really cute. And then the top drawer is like the nightmare drawer. The top drawer is the drawer everything gets thrown into. So this one will be the embarrassing one. So I've got just some labels that I use for my retail items. I have, um, usually have like a few files that I just use to edge or season my files so I'm not slicing people. I have my package of Arbor Bands that I use for my Dremel, sorry, my e-file, that's the proper name for it. I have this sort of, this used to have a tool in it. Now it's just a package in my drawer. I have an extra battery for my clock. I have just, you know, like wheels of things that I was trying. Like if I get a new product, I'll try it out. Now I've got the long sticks. I think that works better. Um, what's this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't cleaned out this drawer in a long time. So this is Oh my gosh, this is all the confirmation information from the hotel that my husband and I stayed at, at on our honeymoon. We, we've been married for four years. <laughs> but I keep it because it's a keepsake. I think I keep meaning to take it home and put it in like my, I have a box of like wedding memory type stuff. I have a marker for marking on like my retail bags if I've ordered something in for somebody. My tip cutters, a buffer block. I have a literal like stack of files. I'll grab a file to season or edge my files and then this is what happens. They just become like there's literally like 10 files here and that's what they're for. I just use them for seasoning new files. If I didn't find one right away, I'll grab a new one, which is so wasteful. I've got 
a bunch of cards for when I'm booking appointments. I'll write, these are my, my business cards, by the way. Um, I'll write on the back all of their appointments. So I always have a stack of cards in there. My dusting brush to dust people's hands off. Sorry, my hair is like really fluffy today. It's raining, so my hair's doing its thing. I have this stuff. I don't know if you guys are nail techs, this stuff is amazing. I get it through um, Natalie products out of Ontario and it's like a self adhering, if I get the end of it, my nails are long. If you, it's a self adhering tape. So it sticks to itself. So sometimes I'll slice my thumb with my file or if I have a little boo-boo or something, I'll wrap that around it so I'm not getting like acetone in it and protecting myself and my client it works so much better band-aids just fall off and they look really gross um lip balm <laughs> a sponge that uh, like i'll tear a piece off and i'll you know do some sponging with that pencils more pencils all the pe like literally how many pencils more pencils than you could ever want or need there's another one a whole pile of pencils I do all my appointments still in a paper book because I'm old school and then I have probably the same probably the same number of pen pens in here more lip balm I have a client that makes lip balm so sometimes she'll bring me some like homemade lip balms and I throw them in there because you never know when your lips are gonna be dry here's some more lip balm <laughs> what am I doing with my garbage I don't know there this is like I say the catch-all type drawer I have several erasers because one apparently is not enough I wear the erasers off the back of my pencil and then I need the big ones and then I have like a variety of, of jewelry in this drawer so what happens to me is I'll wear like a long necklace like this and it'll clang up against the desk and I'm like forget this and I'll take it off and I'll toss it in the drawer here's another one and I wind up with this like weird collection of jewelry the other thing that I end up in with in here is watches and bracelets because again they'll smash up against the desk they start to hurt my arm and I just say forget it and I toss it in the drawer some tweezers and then like a whole bunch of these <laughs> sponge applicators for applying like the chrome and different types of glitter. There's a pack of matches in here for candles. Um, a Dappen dish, I mix glitters in there. And pretty much just like pen caps and garbage after that. So that's my top drawer that's just a mess and um, slightly embarrassing so now that I've pulled everything out perhaps I'll clean it out the second drawer has I've got a this is all my stamping stuff so my um, my actual like stampers I like the the jelly type ones and then all my stamping plates I leave them in their packaging so they don't get scratched and then this one is like all my like the gems and jewels all those little wheels of you know little decals and in that same thing I've got extra tweezers for applying them these cuticle nippers I just use for cutting um, like the gems off of people's nails I've got this sort of palette thing these gels are the ones that I use for adhering the gems to the nails another miscellaneous pair of tweezers for the gems and then these are just like the little teeny tiny dots that's it for the second drawer the third drawer is my tips I like the clear ones I've got extra packs of two by twos extra pack extras of my lint free wipes um, extras of my um, buffer blocks and I've got all my extra top coats in here. I really, my favorite is the Shellac Express 5. So I've got a couple new ones of those and the Shellac base coat in there. It's hard to shove everything back in that same drawer. And then this um, CND box, I've got all of my nail hugs in there. Um, if you guys haven't used nail hugs before, if you do nails, check them out. They're really, really cool. They're sort of like a transfer. Um, 
decal. I keep them in here because I find I used to leave them out and I found that they almost kind of dried out and then they didn't transfer well. So I started keeping them in this box and that sort of solved the problem. I also have like extra nail art brushes in here that are just ones that I don't use that much or backups for ones that I do use all the time. I like to keep backups because you never know when they're going to get all dog-eared. And then I have a whole, if I can pull it out, I've got this other c and kind of container and it's just got extras. Extras of glue, I've got extra pots of gel, I've got extra top coats, bonder, um, different things like that, different types of top coat, just extras because you never ever want to run out of those sort of staple items. And then the last thing I've got in this drawer, oh no, hold on one second. There, sorry about that guys, I knocked, I knocked these down. So then I've got all of my um, gel polishes are swatched on these wheels and I've got them in I've got them in color families so like all the pinks are together and all the you know purples together and all the blues together I find that helps a lot you know if somebody comes in and they know they want blue then I have like two palettes rather than like the stack that can be a little um, overwhelming for people and then the last drawer um, is shellac bottles so <laughs> This, it seems like hoarding, it really does. Um, but what this is, I'll see if I can pull it out and show you guys, it's extras. It's really heavy. <laughs> so this is, this is my life. So this is either like ones, like if they've gone on sale, they don't go on sale that often. So when they do go on, I'll buy like extras of the ones that I know I need or like recently they did these jumbo sized ones so like I got lots of black because you can never have too much black um, I had gotten an extra set of the alluring trilogy I did a video on these and then whenever I almost okay so you know when you use nail polish you can never get down to the bottom of the bottle the shellacs and the artistic the gels all they're all the same way and for me that feels really wasteful especially with the shellac because of the price point for the size of the bottle so what I do when I get down to the very bottom where the brush isn't really reaching anymore I toss them in here and I'll buy a new one I put the new one on the shelf and when it gets down about halfway I'll consolidate them I'll take the little bit that's left in this and I'll put it in the new bottle just because I don't want to waste and I find by doing that I don't have to buy them as often so this is a little crazy but I've got like all these extra bottles of shellac that are like partially used I don't like fighting with a half empty bottle I don't want to have to sit and tip and like wait and try and get enough on the brush to finish that nail I'll just whip out a new bottle and then I'll consolidate them later so that's what this drawer is every month or so I'll sit down and I'll go through this and I'll sort of do like a fill up day. I'll fill up all my polish removers and my acetone and my scrub fresh and my alcohol and all that stuff. And I'll refill all my shellac bottles. Um, so that's what this drawer is. That's why it's on the bottom. It's really, really heavy, but it is, you know, a little way that I try to save a little bit of money. I don't want to, I don't want to use cheap products, but I want to get the most out of my money. So that's my nail drawer tour um like i say i don't really have a drawer in my desk but that's sort of my general working station what i work out of all the time and then the other thing that i have here on my desk is my cup of all the brushes that i use for nail art regularly i just keep them in a cup holder here on my table so i hope you enjoyed this thanks to cheyenne for tagging me um like i said before i'll link her uh, video in the description box if you guys want to see a full salon tour please leave a comment to let me know and i'll see you next time thanks bye